Daily Minutes of Saturday, August 1, 2015. This is Peter John of Emergency Radio. Today's bulletin is completely in English. First, we have the propagation bulletin of the RSGB. In addition to that, we have a small piece of data in MFSK 64, around 1000 Hz. MFSK 64, around 1000 Hz. CQ, 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 calling all radio amateurs and shortwave listeners. This is GB2RS, the news broadcasting service of the Radio Society of Great Britain. It comes to you from G4NJH in Nottingham. Good morning, this is GB2RS. It's Sunday the 2nd of August 2015. 15. Radio propagation report now by G0KYA, G3YLA and G4BAO. HF propagation condi conditions during last weekend's IOTA contest were pretty dire. This was due to a perfect storm of typical summer conditions, a fairly low sunspot count and poor geomagnetic conditions reflected in a KP index of 3. This was due to the arrival of material from a coronal mass ejection on the onset of weak high speed solar wind stream from a coronal hole. One contestant said that he worked no stations outside of Europe at all in the IOTA contest, which just about sums it up. Over the next week, the solar flux index is predicted to be in the range of 100 to 110, with the AP index in the range of 5 to 16. The 3rd, 4th and 5th are predicted to be on the most settled uh, days geomagnetically with Sunday the 2nd of August and next weekend predicted to be very unsettled with the chance of KP index hitting 5. This means that you may be better off hunting DX during the week as next weekend may seem a return of unsettled conditions with poor maximum usable frequencies in terms of F layer propagation and low DX potential. Now we're in an August, make sure you use the new sunspot, smooth sunspot number of 51 for your vocap based prediction programs. Now for the VHF and up propagation news, this will be another week of mixed but not really strong indicators. Tropo wise, there are likely to be periods when there's a weak ridge of high pressure over southern parts of Britain, and this could mean slightly enhanced prospect at times both across the Baltic and south across Biscay towards Spain. Unfortunately, for much of the week there will be a large area of low pressure near northwestern Britain, and this will mean only rain scatter on offer for many northwestern areas of the UK. For sporadic key, the prospects are reasonable, reasonable on two counts. First, there's a very non-summer jet stream, albeit weaker than last week, over the British Isles and into northern Europe. Jet streams are good places to generate the wave motion in the air that can propagate vertically to make sporadic E. Second, we're approaching the interesting part of the year for the Persids uh, meteor shower, which peaks around the 12th of August, and meteors are generally regarded as the raw materials of sporadic E. For a for a day-to-day -day update on the jet stream, check out the sporadic E blog on RSGB forums, forums on the RSGB website. It's also less than two weeks to the Perseids meteor shower, which peaks around the 12th of August. With EME, the moon declination uh, is increasing and losses are lowest today on Monday. And that's it from the propagation team for this week, and it's all from me also until next week. Daily Minutes is daily at 1700 UTC on 6.005 and 73.10 kHz and 5 minutes later on the PI2 NOS repeater system. Next day there are reruns, 800 UTC on 73.10 kHz, 830 UTC on PI2 NOS and 12.30 UTC on 95.60 kHz. Our weekend shows are in English, all other shows are in Dutch. Mail address is delta x-ray at x-ray delta victor dot mic echo.